Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss the third method of how to perform upgrade of Com Vault from version 10 to version 11. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. Before we proceed, we recommend you to go through our other video. Com Vault standard in house upgrade from version 10 to version 11, to know the pre checks that are needed to be taken care before you proceed with the actual upgrade. Ensure to take the disaster recovery backup, note down the set ID, and verify the contents of it. Before you take the disaster recovery backup, disable scheduler and data management activities. In this method of upgrade, we need to remove COM Vault completely on the server, and install COM Vault version 11 software only. With version 11, default COM Serve DB is created. You can check our other video, COM Vault version 11 installation step by step process, for install guidance. Post successful COM Vault install, we restore version 10 DB, and then upgrade it. For this video, Com Vault version 11 is already installed, so let's proceed with the recovery of version 10 DB. Browse to the Com Vault installation location, into the base folder. The default location is Drive C, unless otherwise installed on any other drive letter. Look for CS Recovery Assistant.exe, executable. Run the application with admin privileges. Brief intro about COM Serve Recovery Assistant, which is worth to note. We will discuss about staging or troubleshooting option type in a different video. For this video, we will go ahead with recovery or production option in order to rebuild or upgrade our production database. Read the notes carefully. Browse and select the location where the set ID folder is saved, which has version 10 COM Serve database. The default restore path for database and log file is displayed from the current ComServe database, which is Drive D. You can change it to any other location or drive if required. Please ensure the other location you choose has enough free space to host the ComServe database and its future growth, as discussed in the prerequisites. In the summary page, review the selections. You see the operation type as a recovery. Microsoft SQL Server Instance, which is the default instance created on this server during version 11 software install. Database Dump Location, which is version 10 DR Backup. Database and Log File Location as selected. Finally, the database dumps to restore, that is various DBs as displayed on the screen. Once reassured of the above information, click Start Recovery. The tool now performs the following operations. Please note that it might take time to complete. You can stop COM Vault services before itself, doing so will save time, if not they are stopped now. Database is restored to the specified location. Please note the tool verifies and upgrades the database if required, so technically your version 10 database is upgraded to version 11 here. The tool synchronized the ComServe system in the restored database. Finally, the tool run post operations on the ComServe computer. The post operations are different for staging compared to production recovery. Click Next. The ComServe name from restored database shows the ComServe host name and client FQDN name. Installed ComServe name, displays the current host name and client FQDN name. If both the names are different, which in our case is true, is cross-machine recovery, also called hardware refresh, the ComServe name will be updated to the actual production server name. How to change the name, we will discuss it later. 
you need to provide a version 11 license key obtained from Vendorcom Vault here, without which you won't be able to proceed further. Browse and select the appropriate license file. Once done, click Next. It will apply the selected license key. Com serve recovery completed successfully. Let's verify the same from log files. Browse to the log files directory. Open CS Recovery Assistant log file. Scroll to the end. Restored database successfully. You can review the log file to know what all steps it carried out, along with the results. Open database upgrade.log file. Scroll to the end. Here you do see the database upgrade completed successfully. Let's run DB upgrade tool and try upgrade our database. Browse to base folder. Run DB upgrade UI application with admin privileges. Usually the application takes a while to launch, so be patient. Under product type, you see various DBs which you can select. Let's select COM server. In the upgrade type, you have production as well as test upgrade. We will try to cover test upgrade in a different video. For this video, let's continue with production upgrade. In the upgrade phase, you can choose pre, main or post upgrade. If you are performing tests, to know what happens at each phase. Let's keep the default selection, all as is. If you do not wish to run DB maintenance during the post upgrade, you can deselect the option. Recommended is to keep it selected. ComServe host name is the client FQDN. In the database information, you see the SQL server instance name. Username which is SQL admin underscore CV, password, and database name, which is ComServe. For the DB upgrade, you need to provide location of the paths for backup database, and DB upgrade. You can create a new location, if you are not already having one handy. Under DB Upgrade Options, you see Standard, Resume, and Repair. We select Standard, as we are not resuming the upgrade, nor doing a repair of the database. Under Summary, review the selections. Hit Upgrade when ready. Sometimes, this might take a while, so be patient. DB Upgrade completed successfully. Click on view log to see the results in the log file as well. If you notice, these are like the same ones which we saw during CS Recovery Assistant upgrade phase. Your version 10 DB is upgraded to version 11. To change the ComServe display name, to the new server name post DR Recovery, 
we need to make few changes in the registry. Launch Registry Editor Expand HQ Local Machine Software Com Vault Systems Galaxy Instance 001 Edit the client name from old to new one in the S physical node name registry key. Click on the com serve. Edit the client name to the new one in the SCS client name registry key. Expand, Machines. Rename the hive itself to the new name. That's it. You are done. You may now start Convault services, and log in with your credentials. Ensure to enable the scheduler and data management activities. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.